So back then on the command line of the Ubuntu machine, if we just use the last log command as is, we can see that we get an awful lot of output, including a lot of service accounts that, of course, have never logged in. Let's just clear the screen. If we go through and do something like last log minus u, and then say just put the root user in, we can see then that the root user is again one of those user accounts that have never logged in. But even if the root user had logged in, maybe we don't want to include the output. We're also seeing that the beginning of the header line starts username. Hence, when we start excluding things like username and root, you're understanding where we're com coming from. But of course, there are other accounts that haven't logged in. So again, if we go through and use, let's say, like the whoopsie account. So the whoopsie account, however terrible it sounds, is an error reporting tool. And we can see that the whoopsie account again has never logged in. It's a service account. It's a little bit like the old Dr. Watson that we used to have in a Windows environment, if you're used to that. Now, of course, there are other switches that we can implement. So I can go through and do something like a last log and then minus B and then say 90. You show me accounts that haven't logged in within the last 90 days. But the downside of this, again, is I've just got an awful lot of never logged in accounts. So if I did have accounts that had genuinely not logged in within the last 90 days and weren't service accounts, I'm not really going to be able to see them too well. Like most of these tools, there is an online help that's available, so I can go through and see what's available. But there isn't really the solution that I want, where I don't want to be able to print those accounts that have never logged in. So for this, this is where we can utilize Orc just a little bit. And when we go through and take a look, if I go through now and take a look at the last log Orc, it's very similar to what we saw previously within the slides. I'm just including here a begin block where we're printing out our own header information. Within the main block, again, we can see we're excluding never logged in username and root. And our variable that we're working with now, we've just abbreviated to CNT rather than the full count. But as long as it matches where it's first used and incremented with the end block, it's going to be fine. As we go through, we're looking then for the number of fields being equal to 8. So that's our if statement. And that's going to represent our local connections. The else statement then is going to represent where the field count is 9. It's either going to be 8 or 9. And the 9 will include an IP address or host name from the client that they're connecting with rather than the local connections. And then we process the information in the summary block, much in the way that we saw before. So, of course, I can then go through and do a last log, have the output piped through to our application file, so through to awk and then minus F, and we're going to reference then that last log file. And we can see now that we've got our formatted output. So these are user accounts who have logged in. Now, again, my systems don't really tend to live very long, so I don't have a huge amount of account activity on this. But if we do something like this, where we use last log minus B, and we say that I haven't logged in within the last seven days, then it reduces the output just to Bob, Sally and Gretchen. And we can see with the information that we formatted, we've put it then in a nice format so we can see exactly the information that we want. So this, as I say, then potentially becomes a better use of the last log and really making use of ORC at its very best. But for the moment, let's move back now into our slides and wrap up this section.